G'day, my name's Adam Hills. Welcome to Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show that claims to be a friend of the band. Each week, two teams battle it out for music supremacy and their captains, as always, are Alan Bro and Miff Warhurst. Alan's first guest tonight is an Australian singer-songwriter whose last album received five ARIA nominations and whose favourite review stated, quote, she began to sing and I realised Alice had drunk a little bit too much of the wrong potion and had flown completely off her rocker. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, Kate Miller-Heidke. <laughs> Alan's second team member is an actor and musician who once appeared in a TV show with Eric Banner and was told by the director, Eric's got it, you've got what? <laughs> it's a pleasure to welcome back Frankie J Holden. <laughs> Miff's first guest tonight began her music career when she answered an ad that said Wild Women Wanted for Rock and Roll Band and has since gone on to become one of the biggest names in alternative country music. Welcome to the show, Anne McHugh. <laughs> Miff's final guest tonight is a comedian and radio host whose nickname is Funbags. <laughs> Sadly, it's a nickname she gave to herself. She's Amanda Keller. <laughs> now, we're all in the music industry and we've all met our idols at, at certain points. Um, and I know recently, Anne, you met uh, Quentin Tarantino. I, I, when I grow up, I want to be a filmmaker. And so some of my big heroes are film directors and um, Quentin Tarantino and Warren Beatty were sitting in a cafe and I happened to walk in one day mm -hmm. And I walked over to their table and said, Merry Christmas, and Warren Beatty goes, why don't you sit down with us and have a cup of coffee? Oh. And, um, oh. yeah. What happens when you sit down for a cup of coffee with Warren Beatty and quit? Did you sleep with him? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair question. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like we all want to know. Yeah. Well, I, I won't go any further. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say you had a tall grande. <laughs> uh, and Amanda, you fulfilled a childhood dream. A 30-year dream in the making of meeting Barry Manilow. Not quite as attractive and sexy, maybe, as Warren Beatty, but almost up there with that. <laughs> Did you um, sleep with him? <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it decaf. <laughs> <laughs> there was a very human moment that took place between the two of us. He had his arm around me as I was having a photo taken, and um, I like to think it's because he was very relaxed and natural with me. He passed wind. <laughs> Musical. He was note perfect. Oh, good, good. <laughs> As we say in my family, he blew a kiss. <laughs> His best release in ten years. <laughs> Each team will be picking a topic. Everybody will be quizzed on that topic. Uh, your choices tonight are chicks with picks, she bangs the drum, Piano Lady, <laughs> and There She Blows. Uh, Alan, you can pick the first topic tonight. Well, Kate plays the piano, so I think it'll be logical for us to go Piano Ladies. Uh, certainly, Miff. Yep, and we'll go Cheeks with Picks. Yes, of course. Yes. Bring it on. We'll start with Piano Lady, though. So, everyone on your buzzers. Let's play Spicks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Which Piano Lady had a hit with the single Criminal? In the... Uh, yes. Fiona Apple? Yes, it was Fiona Apple. First point of the game to <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Next question for two points. Name two songs from Carole King's landmark album, Tapestry. Uh, yes. It's too late? Uh, no, 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 you can still answer. <laughs> See what I... Oh, oh, I'm so oh, lonely. Man. Will you still, will you still love me tomorrow? me tomorrow? It's too late. Will you love me tomorrow? Well played. Two points. Hey! I would also have accepted I Feel the Earth Move, You've Got a Friend, uh, A Natural Woman, Tapestry, and a whole bunch of others. Finally, for three points, have a look at these three piano ladies and name them. Oh, yes. Um, we've got Alicia Keys, we've got Tori Amos, and um, the last one is... Roberta Flack. Oh, Roberta, Roberta Flack. Flack. It was Yay! Roberta Flack, yes. Three Yay! points for this team. Now, back to a piano lady on this side. Uh, you had a kind of, well, a star encounter, kind of. <laughs> I went through a stage a couple of years ago when I was first doing gigs with my band, playing pubs around Australia, and... Inevitably, at the end of each gig, a punter would come up and give me some career advice, usually tagged with the suggestion that I should audition for Australian Idol. And uh, I didn't really like that very much. I ended up writing a song about it. It's a bit of a spoof. And about six months ago, I was singing it at the Metro in Sydney at a gig and uh, looking out across the audience and 
who should I lock eyes with but Shannon Knoll <laughs> at my gig. And um, I was feeling kind of bad about it, you know, I didn't want him to be too offended. Did you and sleep then... with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, he just felt my tits. <laughs> Anyway, I looked out for him after the show and sure enough, there he was, standing in the corner, sipping on a VB and I went up to him and I said, hey Shannon, you know about that Australian Idol song, you know, I hope you're not personally offended by that or anything, it's just a general piss take on the whole phenomenon and I'm sure you're a great guy and thanks for coming to my gig. And uh, there was a long pause and Shannon looked at me meaningfully and he said, I'm not Shannon Knoll. <laughs> It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you let him feel your tits. <laughs> <That's what's laughs> I find that quite odd. <laughs> My story is apropos of what you've just told. Years ago, I was on a, uh, a ski lift. Right. At Threadbow, and I'm standing there, I've got, you know, you've got all the gear on, and it's very hard to recognise anybody, but these young girls came up to me and said, you know, you're you, aren't you, and can, can we uh, have your autograph? <laughs> And uh, I said, yeah, that, that'll be fine. And, and one of them said, can we have five each? I said, oh, yeah, all right. what do you want five for? She said, we sell them. We sell them at school. And I got a bit chuffed about that. I said, oh, really? I said, how much do you get? They said, a dollar. I went, oh, really? It's pretty good. They said, we get two dollars for Mark Holden. <laughs> Your first question for one point. In Joni Mitchell's song Big Yellow Taxi, who does the Big Yellow Taxi take away? My old, My old man. man. Uh, yes, her old man. A Big Yellow Taxi being a slang term at the time for a police car. For two points, rock chick Joan Jett had hits with which two bands? We got the Black Hearts and the Runaways. Yes, two oh, points. Black excellent. Hearts and the Runaways. Yeah, excellent. excellent. Three points on the line for your final question. Listen to these three chicks with picks. Name all three. Wait to the end. Struck down by the open road But all I wanna do is have some fun Yes, Smith Unwee. Cheryl Crow in the middle. The first one was um the girl from the waves, I think. No, um, no. her voice is really familiar and it's gonna kill me. I'll let you guess the last one. It's not Nicolette Lawson, no. I'm going to go to this side, yes. I know Mia Dyson's the oh, first that's one. It was Mia Dyson. Last one. Okay. Shannon Knoll. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Bonnie Raitt. Oh, oh, yes. At the end of the first round, let's do a score check. Uh, Alan, Kate, Frankie on four points, Smith and Amanda out in front, seven points. <laughs> One member of each team will be drawing song titles for their teammates without using words or numbers. Your teammates have to identify the songs. Uh, Anne will be drawing first for Miff and Amanda. Would you like to make your way up to the board, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Anne McHugh. Yay! Yeah. Now, uh, these guys can pass if they can't work out what you're drawing. You're not allowed okay. to use words or numbers. Uh, mm -hmm. It's only for your own team. Mm. Your time starts now. Okay. Oh, what have we got there? Ooh. Mountain. Mountain. Mm. River deep, mountain high. Um, uh, climb every mountain. Oh, oh well, well done, done, Miff. That's bang on. <laughs> Heart love. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love removal machine. Um, <laughs> love is love a battlefield. Gun. Love gun. Love, love hair. Love hair. Love hair. Love hair. Love hair. Love is like oxygen. Love air. Love. Um, love. Got a, What's that? Oh my god. A mole. <laughs> love <laughs> air, air pocket. Oh, uh, What's that? on that one. Yeah. Uh, that was fantastic work. Uh, here you go. There's your next one. Go. Oh, what have we got there? That looks like yeah, what are they what are they they legs? Like to the legs. side. Uh, that looks like some sort of bird. Is it a bird? Ostrich, emu. A bird. Emu. Bird Fl flamingo. Flamingo. Pink flamingo. Flamingo. Little. The flamingo. Oh, haven't you got that album? The flamingo. <laughs> Yellow flamingo. Pretty flamingo. Pretty flamingo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Have a go at that one. Okay, what have we got there? That looks like a puddle. Um, yeah, oh, lightning oh. storm, storm, mm -hmm. storm. Mm -hmm. stormy weather. Storm. Yes, it is. Oh. Excellent. Oh. All right. Uh, next one. That's uh, 
Um, <laughs> that's a person lying down, dead, dead, dead. sleeping, dreaming, dreams. Dream, sleep sweet dreams. dreams. Sweet dreams by the Eurythmics. Excellent. Oh. Let's go back to the one you missed because I'm pretty sure. What's that one? That love is in the air. Oh, oh that's really love good. Is in the air. Yeah. That was the only one that you missed, which oh, means oh, well you ended up with uh, four points. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Excellent. Well done, Anne. <laughs> right, <laughs> Frank. You'll be drawing for yes. Alan and Kate. Yes. Uh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie J. Holden. Yay! <laughs> All right, uh, go. Balls. Happy. Face. Tears of a clown. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I mean. Headlights. Headlights. Hand. Ring. Ring. Diamond. Um, uh, 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 ring. Uh, ring my bell. Two, two <laughs> rings. Ring. What's oh. that? That's a ring. What's that? It's another ring. Diamond. Two rings. Look, 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 look. Ring, ring. Oh. Ring, ring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I picked early on the first one. I didn't get anything. Go on. <laughs> Here we go. Beard. Beards are burning. Beard post. Do I leave my chewing gum on the bed? <laughs> Does your chewing gum lose its flavour on the bedpost uh, overnight? But that's close enough. I can't really <laughs> penalise you for that. Next one. Uh, earth. Uh, <gasps> to yep. That's what you've done. Uh, is it cricket? How's that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's, oh, fantastic! It's, yep. it's a dog that clearly be, has some dreadful moose. <laughs> oh, it's a moose. Um, reindeer. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Moose. Well, it's an animal like a moose. It's like deer. a moose. An elk. A deer. It's uh, a rain. I put. This is an instrument you hear in it. Well, they're the toys. We've got to. No, we've got to get this. Yeah, looking at it's not going to make it easier. No, <laughs> Maybe I should turn away and then turn back. Come on. It's not a moose. It's not a reindeer. It's another animal like that. It's not a deer. No, that is yakety yak. Oh! oh yakety yak! <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no offence, Frankie. But that is not yakety yak. <laughs> it's a yak. I've shown myself to be quite proficient at this game. That's not yakety yak. <laughs> So, four points also for Frankie, which means at the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Kate, Frankie on eight points, Smith and Amanda still out in front, 11 points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Both teams are about to be shown part of a film clip. You will have to answer questions about that clip. Now, your clip tonight is from the song Let Forever Be by the Chemical Brothers. Uh, both teams, watch the clip. There will be a test afterwards. Okay. Strange stuff to sleep in. Yeah. Oh, I have slept in those sort of clothes over Have you? Yes. Well, actually, just woken up in those sort of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, we've all woken up in silver miniskirts. <laughs>
Can I just ask, yep. did it go fuzzy for everyone at the end? <laughs> <laughs> right, here's your first question. Yeah. What time does the girl sleep in till? Yep. 3.29. Let's have a look. Frankie, bang on. Oh, I for details. I'll get us out in a second. What it's all about. Your next question. How many girls does she become? Seven. Seven. All right, let's look. One, two, two, three, four, five, four. six, seven. Yes, seven. Well done, Miff. Well done. Excellent. Your next question. What type of vehicle is the white car? Oh, yes. That's a ute. It's a ute? Yeah, sorry. Let's have a look. Yes, you're right. Oh, it well is indeed a ute. Yeah. I've also set the pickup truck. Yeah, oh, I love that. Come down. On which side of the face is the girl's mole? <laughs> I can't do left and right. I have to turn around and do it. They're there? On her left? Yeah. Let's look. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it is, Miff. Oh, well, 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 next question. What does she do for a job? <laughs> yes. She works at the makeup counter at Myers. <laughs> <laughs> difficult to disprove. <laughs> Let's have a look. She is working at yep. the makeup counter, and I believe that is Myers. Well done, Frankie J. Myers is yeah. actually. Because uh, I know for a fact that one of Myers' hiring policies is they like girls with really big heads. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that round, let's do a score check. Oh. Alan, Kate, Frankie on 10 points, Miff and Amanda still in front, 14 points. Yeah. One member of each team will try to sing a song for their teammates without using words. Just to make things tough, though, you'll both be doing it at exactly the same time. The first team to identify their own song gets a point. If you buzz in and get it wrong, uh, the other team gets to hear all of their song on its own. Uh, Kate will be singing for Alan and Frankie. Uh, Amanda will be singing for Miff and Anne. Does it matter I can't sing? Is this an unfair advantage? <laughs> You've got a good um, bellowing quality, though. Oh, I <laughs> I reckon if we can hear you over her, we're doing all right. Excellent. Yeah. Kate, those are your songs. Uh, Amanda, those are your songs. If you would both like to take your places opposite your teams, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Kate Minahaiki, Amanda Keller. <laughs> okay. Now, Amanda, which syllable would you like to use? On Kate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what are my options? Uh, la I'll go Lars. You'll go Lars? I'll go Lars. Uh, I'm going do-do-do's. Do-do-do's. As we speak, I can't even tell. I'll bet her do-do's will be better than your la-la's. Actually, you're probably right. <laughs> so, do-do's and la-la's. <laughs> now, now, for those people watching, this is officially a repeat of Are You Being Served? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, team's hands on your buzzers. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the first team to buzz in and name their song gets the point. One, two, three, go. Yes? Um, going to take me home to uh, Fat Bottom Girls by Queen. Yes, it was Fat oh. Bottom Girls by Queen. Well spotted, Al. I got it. I should be so lucky. And you were doing I Should Be So Lucky, Kylie Minogue? Yes, I was. Yeah. Yes. All right, song two, please. One, two, three, go. La, 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 Yes. He came from a... Land Down Under. Yes, it was Land Down Under by Men at Work. Yeah. Yeah. What was Kate doing? You were doing Hearts A Mess by Gautier? Mm. Oh, yes. Great. One of my favourites. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, song three, uh, both contestants. One, two, three, go. La, 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 la. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I thought it was um, Spix and Specs for a second. No, no, no. no, it wasn't Spix and Specs. I think it's from an old musical. Yeah. Oh, that narrows it down. <laughs> no, now that you I haven't got, got it, I haven't I'm really going to... Sorry, we, I went in too early. I'm going to let Kate do the rest of yours for your team. Oh. Go. Make a noise and make it clear. <laughs> You're the voice. I hope that's right. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry. You're the voice, John Farnham. What was the name? Uh, Amanda was doing uh, I Go to Rio oh, by Peter Allen. Oh, la, 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 la. Uh, next it. song, one, two, three, go. Yes. I can, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to protest the hay in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, We're going to give it so. What's the song? Shut up your face. It is Shut up your face by Joe Dolce. I'm going to give you that. I suppose in your 
your defence, it is impossible to sing that song without going, hey! <laughs> <laughs> so we don't get to guess our, our one? Uh, no, uh, you were doing a... Uh, theme Science from the... Fiction by Divinals. Oh, OK. What did you think it was? Theme from the good, the bad and the ugly. <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, final song. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Summer holiday. Yes, yeah, summer holiday by Cliff Richard. Good loud voice, I like it. The song Kate was doing was Black Betty Ram Jam. Uh, clearly, we've, we've learnt nothing else in this game that music cred doesn't match up to bellowing. Round of applause, Kate Miller, Hart, Gina, Matt, Keller. At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Kate, Frankie on 12 points, Miff and Amanda out in front, 17 points. Hands on your buzzers. <laughs> One point for a correct answer. What's going on over there? Oh, just, Frankie just had a little petty mail. It's all right. Everything. It's had a petty mail. Yeah. You're not allowed to bring food on set, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm passing out. All you need is icing, love. <laughs> <laughs> One point for a correct answer. One point off for a wrong answer. Your questions start now. According to the song, what did John Lennon say after he read the news today? Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Oh, Who did the Miami Sound Machine support to fame? Yes. The, uh, uh, Gloria Estefan. It was Gloria Estefan. What was Neil Young's only number one hit? Um, um, oh, I beat my. Um, 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 oh. No. Heart of Gold. Ah. Oh, I wasn't even going to say that, so that's mm. crap. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the summer capital of an ancient Mongolian province ruled by Kublai Khan? Yes. Xanadu. <laughs> yes. Ooh, wow. And it was also the title of an Olivia Newton-John single and the name of the film in which she starred. It wasn't just a poetry question. Yeah. Wow. In Xanadu did Kubla Khan, Khan a state we please don't decree where Alp the Sacred River rang through Cavan's measureless demand down to a dark, dark sea. Yes. That's sure. It starts. Yeah, All well and good, but we are in Xanadu. <laughs> uh, Elton John yeah. received a knighthood. George Michael, on the other hand, was arrested in a men's toilet. Oh. Yes. Oh. Well, I'm not going to say what he was doing in there. <laughs> Um, 2019, uh, 2019 something. It was 2004, <laughs> I think, when he did Outside. Oh, the single Outside 2000 and... It was 1998. Oh. In 1978, the Rolling Stones jumped on the disco bandwagon with which single? Yes. I'm going to miss you. Miss you, that's the one. Have a listen to this, name the song. <laughs> Can I draw it? <laughs> Probably uh, not. It's um. <laughs> mm, mm, <laughs> so I gotta get to the first verse. Uh, it, it was for your love by oh, the Yardbirds. For your love. Yeah. <laughs> Fox Confessor brings the flood. <laughs> yes. Fox Confessor brings the flood. Oh my God! I've forgotten what her bloody name is. <laughs> Fox Confessor brings the flood. I've got it. I love it. What's her name? Oh, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I have to stop drinking. <laughs> One thing tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so I should stop drinking. Nico Case. Oh, of course it is. In its extended form at the daring length of 9 minutes 53 seconds, what is the Stone Roses' highest charting? Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold, uh, and best-known single in Australia. Thank God. Which instrument shares its name with two Hawaiian words that roughly translated mean jumping flea? Ukulele. Ukulele, oh, well, indeed. Well, well. Correct answer. For your final point, name two artists that have performed on Deborah Conway's Broad <laughs> Tours. Ann McHugh and uh, Mia Dyson. Uh, yes, I would have also accepted Kate Miller Heidke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the show, the final scores are. Oh, Alan, Kate, Frankie oh, ended up on 12 yeah. points. Miff and Amanda won the day with 20 yeah. points. Yeah. Would you please thank all our guests for tonight Kate Miller Heidke, Frankie J. Holden, Ann McHugh, and Amanda Keller. And of course, our two team captains, Alan Bro and Miff Warhurst. Yay! Now, earlier on in the show, we saw an amazing video clip from a band called the Chemical Brothers. Uh, tonight, we'd like to leave you with an equally amazing clip from a band called the Scat Brothers Aww. and a song called Life at the Outpost. Oh. Thanks for watching Speaks for Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. <laughs> this is going to be crook, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This is my present to you, man. Uh, <laughs>
loving you so much. This is an early birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> I like the move. No offence, Smith, but I don't reckon you'd be in with any of this. That's all right. I never knew about the village people. Oh, OK, yeah. you did it. That took me a long time to work it out. So I'm pretty sure they're American, but it was filmed in Australia. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure Molly Meldrum had something to do with it. I think he directed it. Really? That's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not quite comfortable in the black T-shirt. He hasn't quite learned his moves. <laughs> And I, I mean, I think they could love people quite hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ow, 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 ow. I think he's loving her. Oh, yeah. Wow.